Welcome to your Vicon Control tutorial. In this video, I'm going to go over the Vicon Control 1.3 application. I will also point out the added features. Additional features have been added to the camera setup, calibration, and capture sections. You'll also notice that subject setup and media transfer were added to our control options. Upon opening the control app, you'll receive a prompt on your PC running Nexus. You must allow this connection between the control app and Nexus on the PC. Let's begin with the camera setup button. In the camera setup mode, you can select individual cameras to inspect the marker quality and the capture volume covered by the camera. By selecting and holding onto a camera view, you'll see the options to change the strobe intensity and threshold. By selecting one of these options, you can make changes to the value. The list icon on the top left can be selected. Once opened, you'll see the option to enable or disable tap to select, as well as activate video calibration mode. If tap to select is enabled, then the user can simply tap the camera body they want to work on in the lab. If this is disabled, the user will need to select the camera from the list within the control app or use Nexus on the computer. To demonstrate the video calibration mode, let's select our view camera at the bottom of the screen. Once selected, tap on the three bars on the top left of the window. Now select Activate Video Calibration Mode. Once in this mode, a user can optimize their Vicon reference video camera for calibration. While in this mode, you can make alterations to the shutter duration and threshold similar to what we observed with the optical cameras. To get out of this mode, simply select the bars again and then deactivate video calibration mode. The control app allows users to calibrate their system without being in front of the computer. Select the icon on the top right and then calibration to enter this window. Now you can see all cameras displayed on your tablet or phone. Once ready to do the dynamic wand wave within the volume, select Calibrate. Now you can observe the same rainbows within the app that are visible on the computer. When ready to set the volume origin, click Set Origin. The Auto Number feature enables the user to quickly number the currently connected Vicon cameras in ascending order according to their position within the capture volume. The numbering begins with the camera that is furthest from the volume origin and then continues numbering in a clockwise direction. Selecting Cancel will end calibration. Tap on the top right icon and select Subject Setup to open this page. At the bottom of the page, you can select to add a subject. Once selected, you'll be prompted to add a name. All subjects will be listed in the center of the page. Selecting the subject opens a list of different options. Here, you can rename your subject. Clicking on Change Template allows you to add or change the template for a specific subject. 
If your template contains subject parameters, you can select Set Parameters. A new window will open with all the parameters for this template listed. Once here, you can type in the subject measurements and other parameters. These values will be updated within Nexus after each entry. Returning to the list, you'll see the option to deactivate a subject. Observe that our subject is now gray. If you have multiple subjects, Activate exclusively will make sure only the current subject is activated. Lastly, you have the option to delete subjects from the control app. Control gives you the option to take a picture. Once this image is taken, it will be available in the media transfer window. These images will be within data management once the images are transferred to the computer. To enter the capture mode, select the icon on the top right of the application and click on capture. Selecting the icon on the top left displays set trial type and add tag to last capture you have the ability to set a trial type that's already been configured with a Nexus. Also, if you'd like to add a tag to your last trial, select Add Tag to Last Capture. You'll see that Nexus has provided a series of options. You also have the ability to create your own tags. These tags will be displayed within the Notes section within data management. Within this window, note the start, cancel, and take picture options. Start will allow you to start a trial collection. Once selected, a trial is being collected. You can then stop to end that trial. Cancel enables you to terminate a trial mid-collection. Take a picture gives you the ability to take a picture that will be associated with your trial. These pictures will be stored in the media transfer section that we will discuss later in this video. To access media transfer, select the icon on the top right of the application and select media transfer. Any photos taken using the control app are stored within the media transfer window. You have the option to select a photo to view it. Once here, you can transfer this individual photo, edit the file prefix, or delete the photo. Upon transferring photos using transfer all, Photos taken will be stored on your PC within data management folders that correspond to your subject and session folder. Once your files are transferred, Delete Transferred can be used to remove the photos from the control app. To disconnect the control app from the Nexus system, select the icon on the top right of the page and then Disconnect. Thank you for watching this video. And as always, if you have any questions about your hardware or software, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at support at